Hey everybody, it's Micah again, and today I wanted to do something a little different because something's been on my mind for a while now. Last year sometime, Yoshida, the director and producer of Final Fantasy XIV, made a passing comment about the identity of Bard and how a lot of people have been asking for it to be fixed, but no one's really giving any input on how exactly that should be done. Which is honestly not really true, because there's been a lot of suggestions, there's been multiple threads on the official forums, and even on sites like Reddit. I've even personally posted one of those suggestions myself. But as we all know, the North American community managers have been strangely absent for quite a few years now, so who knows how much information is actually getting back to Yoshida and the devs. So today we're going to talk about bards, because I feel the solution to many of the complaints players have is really simple. Now when many people think of bards in a context of a game like Final Fantasy, we think more of a support centric job with very little direct damage. From Edward, our favorite spoony bard in Final Fantasy IV, to the bard class in Final Fantasy XI. Bard was always more of a backline job that was used for crowd control and buffs. And when they initially announced Bard was coming to the first version of Final Fantasy XIV as the advanced class of Archer, many of us were really confused and intrigued by how they were going to handle it, since even in version 1 there were very few buffs and debuffs and crowd control really wasn't an issue. Not to mention we were going to have a bow wielding Bard, which was new for the franchise. Were we also getting instruments? How was it going to work? None of us knew. Then when it finally did arrive, it wasn't bad. It felt like a bard. Sure, we had bows to deal damage with, but bard then played much differently than bard today, mainly in the use of its songs. It wasn't just a click to play a song and forget it. All songs were AoEs, we could play one for the mages to give them a steady MP refresh, and then use another songs for our melee to do something, I, I forget exactly what it did, but then we could also debuff whatever we were fighting. So we could have three to four different songs going at the same time. The bow also gave us the mobility to be constantly moving back and forth to keep all those buffs up. Version 1 Bard was much closer to the Bard we all expected, even if it only had three or four songs. We assumed there was going to be a lot more songs coming with the relaunch of A Realm Reborn. But over the course of the reboot, and the many, many changes made to the battle system, Bard sort of became lost. With the removal of the majority of buffs and debuffs, and battle changed to basically dealing as much damage as you could while dodging mechanics, there was no need for a support class in the traditional sense. This caused the developers to seem to get lost and confused on how to handle Bard, and instead of leaning into it, they shied away from it, and Bard basically just became a ranger. Personally, while I and a lot of other players seem to believe the biggest issue the devs are having with Bard is not a DPS issue, it's not a role issue. We all understand that with the way combat works, it would be near impossible to have an actual support class. It's instead an identity issue. Bard just does not feel like a bard. In fact, the way I describe the bard in Final Fantasy XIV is a ranger who hums. This is also a theme we see in many other aspects of the game, even down to the way they handle patches. Yoshida and the developers have found what they feel works, and whenever they do try to change something, their vision and creativity just seems a little stifled. Almost like they get stuck on these certain ideas and try to design around them, instead of looking at them from a different perspective, or bringing in some fresh eyes to take a look at the situation. So how can they fix Bard without changing the battle system and drastically changing the job itself? Well, that's going to bring us to identity and theme. In any sorts of media that we consume, whether that's books or games, movies or TV, we have certain expectations, for better or worse, around how certain types of characters should act and interact with the world around them. Now let's take another game as an example. In The Witcher, we don't expect Geralt, this big warrior s class, to grab a staff, put on a long white robe, and heal Yennefer as she casts her spells. And we don't expect Dandelion to grab a bow and launch volleys of arrows into the sky. Now, 
Unlike Geralt in the role of White Mage, which I just added because I felt it was funny, it wouldn't be so far out there for Dandelion to take on a more aggressive role. But if he did, you would still expect a little bit of that bardic flair. Because if you got rid of it, Dandelion would no longer be Dandelion. His entire character wouldn't be eclipsed by him taking up a bow. Heck, if he were to take up a weapon, the bow feels really fitting. Having a bow-wielding bard is not at all outlandish. The bow aligns itself very well with the bard thematically. And it's this lack of identity that makes it difficult for us to see this job as a bard in Final Fantasy XIV. Outside of everything else, like DPS issues, utility, and whatnot, it's the lack of identity, this lack of a theme of a bard that seems to be the big issue people have with the class. Because even though Square Enix changed the archer to a bard and gave it a couple abilities named after songs and a handful of instrument themed bows, everything you normally would associate with bards just is not there. The solution for this is actually incredibly simple. And with the changes that should be made in my opinion, being purely cosmetic in nature should involve relatively little time and money. The bard does not need a complete overhaul. It simply needs a facelift. And I think to do this, we need to look at the job's abilities, what they do and how they do them. When Square Enix designed the bard, they designed it around having a bow as its primary and only weapon. There was no instrument to accompany the bow like we all thought there may be back in version 1. And since then they've designed nearly all of bard's abilities around the bow, much like they would, you guessed it, a ranger. And it's this focus on the bow that takes away from the bard's identity. Now, I'm not suggesting that they suddenly add instruments. That would be very time consuming and create a whole new situation like Paladin with the sword and shield being two separate things. Although, I mean, admittedly, it would be really cool if they did. I just, it's not necessary. But moving a few abilities away from the bow would completely change the bard. And we already have a plethora of instrumental animations already in the game, so I don't see any reason they couldn't be adapted in some form for battle. Now when it comes to the songs we already have and the way they function, those are fine as they are, although it'd be really great to see them tweaked just a little bit to a similar system Dancer has with steps. Have the bard pull out a horn or a harp and have them play notes to activate the songs. And if the notes are played correctly, which if Dancer is any indication would not be at all difficult, you would do a certain amount of damage to make up for the global cooldowns lost when performing it. Then the effect of that song would just be exactly the same as they currently are. This alone would make Bard feel much more thematically like a Bard. But we could do so much more. Let's take a look at abilities like Venomous Bite and Wind Bite. These are Bard's two damage over time abilities that will both augment songs and increase the potency of abilities such as Sidewinder. And they could stay literally the same in function. But why are they bow moves? These are two abilities that could easily be morphed at level 30 when Bard is unlocked into songs. They could be on the same global cooldown, they could still be dots, they could do the exact same things they already do but give them an instrumental animation and maybe call them elegies or requiems. It's little things like this. Almost everything we do is based on our bow because it almost feels like the developers cannot envision the concept of songs being anything but support abilities. But using songs to do damage is not far-fetched for the franchise. Prince Edward, again from Final Fantasy XIV, comes to mind. This, however, is why we don't feel like bards. If you remove the elements of battle that give a class its identity, in this case the utility that normally comes with bards, you need to find a way to shift that identity into areas that it wasn't previously, or you just get a ranger who hums. And there's other examples. Pitch Perfect. Why on earth is this a bow move? It's literally called Pitch Perfect. They need to shift their focus away from the bow if they want this class to feel like a bard. And let's look at some more. Barrage. Let's switch this up to Archer's Etude. Imperial Arrow. How about Imperial About? 
Refulgent Arrow. How about Bright Finelli? Shadow Bite. Why not Shadow's Threnody? And this is my favorite one, personally, that I came up with. Sagittarius Arrow, the Bard's Limit Break 3. I mean, how awesome would it be if they morphed this one into Hydaelyn's Operetta instead? And by no means am I saying, let's get rid of our bows. We would still have plenty of abilities left that are based around the bow, and the ability potencies and everything could still be based on the potency of our bows. This could strictly be a visual and a thematic change to abilities off the global cooldown or ones with specific triggers, and it would make this class feel like an actual bard. While there are still some core design issues around how the class plays, I know that they're still working on, this would go really, really far into making bards across Aorzea happy. A lot of bards, more than anything, just want to feel like a bard. But what do you think? What kind of changes would you make to Bard to make it less of a ranger and more of a bard? Comment below and let's chat about it. And while you're down there, you know, you can click on that link in the video description to follow me on Twitter and hit subscribe for more if you haven't already. And as per the usual, it's been a hoot. Until next time, have fun.